I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on transformation of functions. In this video, we will consider transformation of a cubic function. We have two related questions for the same. Question number one. Write equation of the transformed cubic function shown in the graph. We are actually given here two points, 2, 3, and 1, 5. Question number 2. The function y equals to x cube has undergone the following set of transformations. If y equals to x cube passes through 2, 8, find the coordinates of the transformed image point on the curve resulting from transformation which is described here. Vertically compressed by a factor of 4, reflected on the y-axis, horizontally compressed by a factor of half, translated 2 units right and 3 units down. Treat them as your test questions on transformations. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In question number 1, we are given a cubic function whose critical point, which should have been at the origin, has been translated 2 units to the right and 3 units up right. So that gives you that the function f of x can be written as a times x minus 2, since it moves 2 units to the right, whole q is a cubic function, plus 3 as it moves 3 units up. Now to find the value of a, we can use the point 1, 5. Substituting 1 and 5, we should get a, right? So 5 equals to a times 1 minus 2 whole cube plus 3. So we substituted in this the point 1, 5 to find the value of a. So which gives us 5 equals 2. So that is minus 1 cube or minus a plus 3. Bringing this 3 to this side, we get 5 minus 3 is equal to minus a or we can write down 2 equals to minus a and that gives you minus 2 as the value of a. Right? Now we can write down the function itself. The function f of x is equal to minus 2 x minus 2 whole q plus 3. It makes sense if you check the end behavior that negative tells you that left side is up and the right side is going towards negative infinity. Perfect. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now let's look into question number 2. The function y equals to x cube has undergone the following set of transformations. If y equals to x cube passes through 2, 8, so we are given the point 2, 8. Find the coordinates of the transformed image, image point on the curve resulting from transformation, vertically stretched by a factor of 4. So let's consider a general point, right? Then we'll work on 2, 3 also. So if I have x, y as any general point, in that case, when you say vertically compressed by a factor of 4, means the y value will be compressed vertically, means you have to divide by 4, right? So we get 1 over 4 of the y value reflected on the y axis. So when you reflect on the y axis, in that case, the x value should be negative, right? So we get negative of the x value reflected on the y axis horizontally compressed by a factor of half. That means this should be divided by 2. Translated 2 units right. So when we translated 2 units right, the x value should increase by 2, right? So, and 3 units down, y value will decrease by 3. So that becomes our general transformation of any coordinate on the curve of x cube. Correct? See, Vertically compressed by a factor of 4, reflected on the y-axis, this negative, horizontally compressed by a factor of half, it is compressed horizontally, translated 2 units right, add 2, and 3 units down, subtract 3. Perfect. 
Now, if I substitute 2 and 3 here for x, we get our points, right? So, substituting, uh, what do we get? If I substitute here, we get from 2, 3, if I substitute x as minus, I mean 2, I get minus 2 over 2 plus 2, right? That becomes the x value. One fourth of y value is, sorry, 2, 8. 2, 8 is the point. Y value is 8 minus 3, right? That becomes the coordinate point, which is equal to, that is minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. And here we get 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is our answer, correct? So this point will actually translate to 1 minus 1. So that is how you're going to answer this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So it is good to write the general transformation first and then work it out. And you can really test it with your description giver whether you have achieved the right answer or not. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.